All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Shemak. I have the Great Millstone, Atlanta Camp. Before I get started with the lesson, I want to first start by giving all the glory, if any praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rocha Kadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. Shalom, Shalom to all the sincere brothers that's preaching, teaching truth all around the world. All right, Shalom to sincere listeners and sincere believers. Okay, here's a lesson concerning that predestination is in the Holy Bible. Okay, predestination is in the Holy Bible, which makes the, the book that much more spiritual. Okay, that makes the book spiritual, and then what makes it very clear and evident and very uh, full of truth is prophecy. Okay, so I'm here, I have uh, the word predestined, the verb here, and it quickly reads says, In theology of God, to foreordain by divine decree or purpose. And this and predestination also proves that there is a power. Okay, because these scriptures are true. And it's in the scriptures um, already tell us that through the inspiration of God, they were written written within the book through uh, through the book of First Timothy, man. I think uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, chapter two, verse fifteen. Okay, that's how we know there is a one true power, man. Okay, in His name, the heavenly Father's true name is Yahweh, and His Son's name is His only begotten Son, the Savior of the Israelites. His name, the name is Yahweh Shai. All right, but continuing on, it says someone. I'm gonna reread that it says to foreordain by divine decree or purpose. Someone to salvation or internal life. See, it says uh, determined beforehand. OK, so everything that we see, these the current events to even ourselves, man, this is already determined beforehand by who? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's why, but, but, you know, but ones that are not spiritual would not understand predestination. You know, those that are not spiritual would, would not understand predestination, but they, they would um, categorize it as coincidence. All right, when you look at the word coincidence, it says the exact correspondence in substance or nature. It says to fall upon together. It says with together to fall uh, occurrence or existence during the same time. See, and it's truly no, it's truly no coincidences, man. It's truly it, everything is, of course, judged by the by the spirit, and you know, spiritual man judges by all things. But it's no uh, coincidences, man. But through you know, through in, in his life, okay. It's all predestination, all right. And also, um, I wanted to start with Second Ezra's, but I, you know, the Spirit got me thinking about, of course, uh, it's a classic one too, Proverbs twenty, uh, twenty and twenty four. Just quickly before I go back to Second Ezra's, this is Proverbs twenty and twenty four. It reads, "Man goings of the Lord, how can a man then understand his own way?" And that goes into predestination, man. Whether you're whether you hear whether you're a lot here on earth is to uh. You know, it's vain and vanity, emptiness to just live and, and be destroyed through and, and by a concentration camp or in, in martial law in the midst of these prophecies, these heavy prophecies that are already written in the Holy Bible. Then that's what it is. But some hold an important, a, a very important lot, okay, a very important uh, factor in his life, man. The elect, Yahweh Shai, all right, sincere believers, man, okay. So let me go back to Second Ezra 9, verse 15. And it reads, I have said before and now do speak and will speak it also hereafter that there be many more of them which perish than of them which be saved. And we understand if we just we're just referring to the land of America itself. All right. That the one third, a great amount of believers will be delivered in the elect. All right. And two thirds of our own people, the Hebrew Israelites, the black Spanish Native Americans who are scattered all around the four corners of the world will be put to death. That's prophecy. That's Determined beforehand to happen That's how we know this book is true What's also determined beforehand Martial law, Jacob's trouble, World War 3 That third woe, you know, nuclear missiles Okay, chariots Alright, these these things are already Determined beforehand Alright, and they elect those believers To hold a great hold a great stance in, the, in these last days, man Why? Because the word must go out Before the end come As it spoke about in Matthew 24 Okay the word is going out before the end come. I grab that just to bring home the point even further. Okay. This is Matthew 24, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. Then shall the end come. All right. So this is already determined beforehand, which makes the awakening of the Israelites that much spiritual, which is already, you know, this predestination. It's all through predestination, man. Okay. This is all through predestination, man, which makes it. Our lives heavy right now. This makes these times even more heavier right now, even more spiritual. Okay, once you once you understand predestination. Okay, this is what this is all some coincidence, and you just 
you just got it out the mud yourself. No, man, this is all through the mercy and grace and through predestination of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right? And these scriptures are going to back these points up. So this is Romans chapter 8, verse 28. And it reads, And we know that all things work together for good, for good to them that love the Most High, and to them who are who are called according to His purpose. Oh, let me go back to the, uh, what did it say in the Edomon, in the Edomon line? It said, it said, to, it said to for ordained by a divine decree or purpose. All right. So back to that Romans 8, Romans 8 and 28, it says, and we know that all things work together for, for good to them that love the most high, to them that who are called, who are the called according to his purpose. And those, and Yahweh Shah is one of those as well, man. All right. Yahweh Shah was, he did the calling of, of Yahweh. Okay, and we're doing a calling, you know, we're doing what we, what we put on earth, to, uh, put on earth to do, to do our purpose. All right. But verse 29 says, for whom he did for no. See, <laughs> he said he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, Yahweh Shai, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate. Them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified, okay? Which makes these believers, those that believe now, man, the elect men, you know, the men, women, and children or, or, of sincere listeners and sincere believers, it makes it makes the light so much heavier and so much spiritual in these times, man, through predestination, okay? We're being called right now. We're looking to be justified by who? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Ultimately, Yahweh Shai is the intercession for the Israelites to Yahweh. Okay, it says then, then once you're justified, we're going to be glorified, man, through the kingdom. All right. Then before the kingdom, through spiritual power, you know, healings and miracles. Okay. It says them. He also glorified, man. It says in verse 31. What shall we say? It's like it. What shall we then say to these things? If the most high be for us, who can be against us? All right. And that's how we feel, man. Through we, That's how we feel through faith. Okay. That's our energy. That's our vibration that we push, man. All right. If Yahweh Shai, if Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai be with us, who can be against us? Through predestination, man, because we already know what's written to happen beforehand. That's what makes the power of the Holy Bible so. It, that's what makes it so powerful, man. That's what makes his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding so powerful. Because it's predestination. We know what's about to happen before it happens. Prophecy. Okay, that goes right into prophecy. All right, and let's also get, um, of course, another classic. These are these are classics, man. Ephesians chapter one. Uh, verse uh, verse four, and it reads, according as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Verse five, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who the world ignorantly causes Jesus Christ, to him himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. See, we're just doing the Lord's will. We were predestined to do the Lord's will, man. Learn the word, believe in the word, teach the word, and be delivered, okay, by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. This is all written beforehand, determined beforehand. That's what makes it spiritual. That's what makes it scary. You know, that's what that's what make, that's what keeps us appreciative. You know, because <laughs> this is we this thing is a, this thing is not of ourselves, man. He said he's chosen us before the foundation of the world, before but while we were in the womb. You know, we gotta gotta pull that. That's what I was thinking about too. Jeremiah uh, one and five will back that up. This will make these times just spiritual, man. Through pre that word itself, predestination, man. This makes it. This makes the entire Bible and prophecy spiritual, man. Okay, this is Jeremiah chapter one verse five. All right, I mean it's a truly powerful. Okay, but it says, "Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations." See, so before we even were born, man. Our future was already, uh, or our, our judgment was already written, you know, whether we was going to be a believer or not, whether we was going to be, you know, uh, you know, homeless or not, or our national, you know, our, it was already written, man. It was all, it was already ordained, especially about a prophet unto the nations, man. Okay. Cause that's who, that's who, that's who it was really about. The world was made for the Israelite sakes, man. True the elect sake. Okay. We do this for the elect sake, man. The elect, those, but that's why being a believer holds a very high importance right now, man. Okay, all right, through predestination, of course. Okay, let me also grab Second Thessalonians. Okay, well, this is um, and I I ended off here. This is Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse thirteen. All right, and it reads, 
but we are bound to give thanks all way to the most high for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because the most high have from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of truth. See, we had to be cleansed by the word, man. We we're cleansed by the word. We we're cleansed by this truth. All right. But we, we, we were already determined beforehand to, to believe and receive salvation. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. Lord willing, we are one of those predestinated uh, elect men, man, <laughs> you know, determined beforehand. OK, to be delivered on the chariot. All right. While destruction is going to come to this place, man. World War Three. With Jacob's trouble, martial law, concentration camps, the full out sword brought down by Esau, even the so called white man. All right. This, this is a hey, this is the powerful times I and mean, predestination shows us this, man, you know, in, in different ways and different uh, situations as well. OK, but um, that's one of the uh, main main things of main scriptures I wanted to bring out uh, relating to the topic at hand of uh, uh, predestination within the Holy Bible. And it's clearly there, man. And it's clearly through prophecy. All right. All these are the events. Is these these are none of these things are, are coincidences, man. All right. But uh, Lord willing. You know, the lesson was edifying and exhorting to you sincere listeners and to, and to you sincere believers. All right. I want to end off by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Racha Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. All right. Hey, shalom. Keep the faith. Shalom. Blah, blah, blah.